Hi everyone, Sherman here, and I usually run the Great Doubt Philosophy website, but today I am going to talk about this crispy wave of bird's nest fern. Now this plant has been a really interesting plant for me because it's an indoor plant that doesn't require a lot of sunlight. So if you guys are looking into an indoor garden, which will give you uh, you know, inner peace of mind because when you look at this, it's like, wow, it's really interesting. Look at this. It's crispy wave because you can see that it's like in a wave shape, the leaves. And they're kind of solid like plastic. So they look, it looks like a fake plant, but you can clearly see it's not fake. There's this like slightly brownish color. I'm not sure if it's dying or it's just coming out. There's like uh, some damage on the leaves is being eaten by some bugs so yeah definitely not um, a fake plant you can see some holes here as well Wait, let me just show you see that a little hole yeah and this plant itself you can see it has a very plasticky texture so it makes a really good uh, relaxing indoor plant when you contemplate life you know when you have contemplate philosophy when you have stress you just look at it it's green color calms you down and not only that it cleans the air in your room so basically all plants actually help to clean the air but this one uh, since it doesn't require that much sunlight it allows you to put it in your room and it helps you to keep the air fresh so when you look at it when you're working you just want to like relax this is a really good plant to give it the more tropical feel as well because it's a tropical plant and it survives in tropical weather and you want it to not be in the cold so it needs to be in slightly tropical climates but if you are indoors it should survive fine because you know our temperature will probably you know whatever temperature that we can survive in that we are comfortable in and then not surviving will be good for the plant so how do you keep this plant uh, happy so basically you have to water it but you don't want it to soak so you water it like uh, maybe uh, twice I water it like uh, not twice sorry you water it once every two days I don't want to over water it but um, just keep in mind that uh, I'm living in a tropical country so there's a lot of humidity if you're not living in a tropical country put this in your toilet or somewhere where the, in your kitchen where there's a lot of water uh, maybe if you have a lot of rainfall you can put it in your balcony and when you water it it's important not to water the middle part of it have a look at this see if you look at this there's a rosetta sort of a shape so it's like this in the middle and there's a little baby plant you can see that middle in the baby plant here I mean baby leaf that's coming out so you don't want to get that wet because uh, it might suffer from rot root rot so root rot is very uh, you know it's something that kills a lot of plants I did a video on that on how to save plant of root rot so basically you got to take up the whole plant and dry the roots uh, wash the roots and dry the roots but you you know you really don't want to end up with root rot so what happens is uh, here's a tip for you you get a pot like this and make sure there are holes underneath so when you water it the make sure that the 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 soil is moist but not really wet so what happens if it becomes wet you put a tissue right under here and you leave it like on a table leave it for a while the tissue become wet like this see? so i just watered and you can see uh, you know it's kind of soaking wet here i don't know if you can see it but yeah basically it's soaking wet and then you just leave it on more tissue the tissue itself will absorb the water and draw the water from the pot into the tissue so when it gets really wet uh, it draws a lot of water from here and the soil itself becomes dry so that's a good thing and if you are keeping it indoors that's how you keep your plant happy and you know if just by caring for it I, I guess it gives you peace of mind as well so you have like a, you can create this paper wrapping for it so you put it in and it looks nice if you don't like that brown color sort of uh, pot i use the pot because it has drainage walk drainage holes 
But that's about it for this uh, crispy wave bird nest plant. So usually the bird nest plant is on top of other plants. So it doesn't require a lot of soy. That's why it can't get wet. So yeah, I hope you guys love uh, this video on plants. I sometimes do videos on plants, but I mostly talk about philosophy. Like I say, check out greatdoubt.com where I talk mostly about philosophy of life and well don't attach to things so great doubt doubts everything but believes in everything partially so great doubt doubt everything greatly believe in everything partially look at the plant don't be attached have this in the office be calm and cool everyone see you in the next one take care now